it's become a massive tourist hub for the city of Melbourne. Even today on Sunday, it's on a great weather. There's dozens and dozens, hundreds of people actually just walking around. But not everyone at Melbourne's iconic Hosier Lane today is here just to view the street art. In recent weeks, employees at the streetwear store Culture Kings, which backs onto the lane, have called the police on street artists twice. We didn't have a policy to get someone called, but we weren't really strict in educating the staff at the time that they need to not do that. Like, this isn't our laneway, this is a street art hotspot and it should remain that way. Despite the apology and promise to change, street artists and the Victorian Socialist Party are hosting a celebration of street culture. Many of the artists here today told us that they saw this as part of a broader problem which involved the exploitation of art like this that brings millions of people to Melbourne for profit. It should be up to the artist to decide what goes up and I don't think people should that are using its aesthetic and its culture to make money to sell rich kid haircuts, they shouldn't uh, be calling the cops. But many save their harshest criticism for the council. It's all about corporatisation of, of public space by private entities. The city of Melbourne could be doing way more than they're doing at the moment. For example, they could be forcing developers to have more open space and they could be having more areas in Melbourne that are available for street artists to use without being harassed by the Victorian police. The city of Melbourne say while they recognise the importance of street art, building owners are within their rights to contact police. Whether artists take the advice as writing on the wall remains to be seen. Gabriella Marchant, Newsline.